Once you've added your clips to the timeline and got confident with the basics of splitting, trimming and reordering clips, it's time to have some fun by exploring the range of transitions that Lim Fusion has to offer. Transitions are simply animations that you can add to your clips to create movement on screen. These can be used to introduce a clip to your video project, like in this example here, or to creatively remove a clip from your video. You can even add transitions in between two clips to create a whole range of eye-catching effects. You can find a collection of transitions up here in the LumaFusion Media Library. All of them have a name which describes the animation of the clip, but if you're not quite sure on how they'll look on screen, tapping on them once will give you a preview before you add anything to the timeline. This shows you what would happen if the transition was placed between two clips, your first clip being clip A, and your second clip B. Adding a transition to your timeline is easy. Now there are two ways to do this. The first is to tap, hold and drag onto the chosen area, either at the beginning or end of a clip or in between two clips. When you're placing your transition, look for the white box to show where the transition will be and then let go to drop it into position. You can see the effect it's had on your clips when you play your clips through or simply drag along the timeline. If you don't like it and want to remove it, simply ensure the transition is highlighted by tapping on it once and tap the bin icon at the bottom of the screen. So let's experiment with a few more here. I'll choose the cross to solve this time. You can see here that by adding it to the beginning of a clip will fade the clip in, adding it to the end of a clip will fade the clip out and adding a cross dissolve between two shots will blend the two together. Note here that if you want to add a transition in between two clips, the white box has to go over the end of your first clip and the beginning of your second clip. If a transition is happening too fast or too slow, you can change the length of a transition by selecting it and dragging it in or out. The longer the transition is on the timeline, the longer the transition will take to complete. You can also add transitions to your timeline by tapping the Add Clip button on the Timeline toolbar and selecting Transition. When the playhead is positioned on a cut point or at the head or tail of the timeline, the default transition length will be added at that location. However, when the playhead is within a selected clip, so not at the beginning or end, then the transition will be added at the nearest cut and the duration will be determined by the distance from the playhead to the beginning or end of the clip. If you want to quickly replace a transition on the timeline, keeping the same position and length, but just changing the animation, you can do so by highlighting the transition, tapping the presets icon, and selecting a new transition from the list. You can also replace a transition by dragging a new transition over the old one, Look out for the yellow box here, which will show you where your transition is going to go. If you have LumaFusion open in front of you now, please pause this video and have a go with these two methods, either dragging and dropping your transitions or just adding them quickly from the Add Clip menu. However, adding transitions doesn't just stop with video. We can also use transitions between audio clips, blending music smoothly on the timeline. Or we can add movement to titles or even images, creating a whole host of effects. In fact, anything you put on the timeline can have a transition applied, as long as there's enough media to enable it to play through. If there's not enough media on one or both of the clips to create the transition you've chosen, like in this example here where my clip is fully extended and there's no extra media at the end of the clip for LumaFusion to play with, the app will automatically trim the clips it needs to carry out the transition. This is called ripple editing. Many editors like this feature as LumaFusion does a lot of the hard work for you. But if you prefer, you can turn the ripple editing off in settings in order to have full control over your clips. It will, however, mean that you sometimes can't add a transition, which is why LumaFusion will automatically have this set to on. Play around with this by adding transitions to multiple pieces of media on your timeline, adding movement to your video in either dynamic or subtle ways. 
Once you've mastered this, you can go on to create custom transitions by exploring the key framing capabilities that LumaFusion has to offer.